More now on the flood danger along the lower Mississippi. Even towns like Dyersburg, Tennessee, which is 20 miles from the Big River, fear the worst flooding since 1927. Let's go back to CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman, who is in Dyersburg for us this morning. Mark. Good morning, Chris. Uh, this is a genuine crisis, not just for folks who live in the houses behind me, but for river communities up and down the Mississippi, where uh, flood stages are now uh, unprecedented. And today, more water will overwhelm these communities and force uh, real emergency decisions. Uh, nearby community like Tiptonville likely to order more evacuations today. And the water and the pressure just keeps rising. Uh, entire communities are going through the same drama, uh, which is evacuations, road closings, and a scramble for dry shelter. Remember, this is going on for communities in eight different states. So the only consolation for communities like Dyersburg is they're not in this alone. Chris? Mark Strassman for us in Dyersburg, and no one in Dyersburg is watching those high water levels more closely than the mayor of that town, John Holden. And John has taken enough time here to, to join us to talk about the situation there. Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for taking the time, first of all. Good to see you this morning. Well, thank you. Good, good, good to hear from you. Uh, we just uh, heard from Mark a second ago. You've got some emergency decisions that you need to make. What's your biggest concern at this very moment? Well, our, our biggest concern is that uh, the Mississippi River continues to rise. It reached a uh, record crest the other day, uh, or record height the other day, and it's going to continue to rise to 51 foot. We're 20 miles from the river. We've had flooding here in Dyersburg of 28 foot of the Forkadere River. That river possibly will flow backward into our community, so we've got a situation that we have to monitor uh, on the hour to make sure that we're taking care of our citizens. I know you've issued some voluntary evacuations. When do you have to upgrade that to, to mandatory evacuations and just tell people, you know what, you got to get out? Well, we're just monitoring the situation by the hour. A lot of people have left. There's been an orderly uh, progression of people leaving our community. Uh, you know, the, the river's going to dictate what we're going to do, and, and certainly we're going to try to take care of our citizens, make them aware of what's going on so they can make the decisions to get out of their communities and their, and their homes. Uh, but it is a situation that we're really concerned about, and we're going to do our best to give them the information about what they need to do. I know you're at, at the mercy of some of the levees in the area right now. What, what is their condition right now? Well, the, the Great River Road, 18 miles from here, that separates Mississippi River and Dyersburg, there's some concern about the river topping those levees, and the Corps of Engineers are down there now in some locations adding fill along the cross of the top of those levees to keep the water from spilling into our community. What do you tell some of the folks in your community? I mean, this is not the first time you've gone through this. You've got some people that are still re in the process of rebuilding as we speak from the floods last year. What, I mean, what do you say to your folks? Well, just, you know, to be optimistic, optimistic as much as possible, uh, we had a historic flooding in Dyersburg, Tennessee last year when the river rose to 32 point foot, uh, 32 foot. And, uh, you know, just tell them to, to, to hang in there. Uh, we're here to help them, support them, do all we can to give them the information they need. Uh, we've got houses being built from last year's flooding. And, and, and you know, it's, we're all going through this. It's affecting eight states and we're doing the best we can do to equip our residents and let them know what's happening and, uh, and just to remain calm, not, not panic, but just be prepared, and that's the message we're giving to our residents in Dyersburg. As the mayor of Dyersburg, um, it, it's got to be obviously troubling for you to see these floods year in and year out. Are, are you ever concerned about an exodus of people that are just going to uh, come to you and say, we, we can't deal with this anymore, it's been too much, and, and the threat of this happening again is just too much for anyone to take, we're leaving? Well, obviously that is a concern to us uh, in Dyersburg. This community that we're standing in now is South Dyersburg. A lot of folks out here were affected by the flooding that occurred. We lost over 400 homes and 400, 400 homes and businesses were affected last year uh, by the events. Uh, you know, some people probably will give up and not move back to this community and that concerns us because obviously we want people to stay here and um, have business here and do all they do can do for our community. But, you know, there will be some people that won't come back and, and some didn't come back from last year, quite yeah. honestly. Well, Mr. Mayor, thank you for taking a couple of moments. We know it's uh, obviously a very busy time for you down there, and uh, we wish you the very best. Thank you. I appreciate it very All much. Right, that's Mayor John Holden of Dyersburg, Tennessee, for us this morning.